Now, uh, this is something else that you mentioned to me. Marty Janetti gets a divorce. So you sent me a link and your old pal Marty, Party Marty, divorcing his wife of less than one month after getting mm-hmm. married in Florida with the wedding being officiated by the wife of Brutus Beefcake, Missy Beefcake. So for all you mm-hmm. w, uh, WSI fans, you'll have probably seen the Greg Valentine thing about Missy Beefcake. Anyway, Marty Janetti, clearly a rock set fan, recently posted on fa- uh, Facebook. It must have been love, but it's over now. Divorce is on the way. Got backstabbed by two of my best friends. One of them lives here. Not much longer, though. P.S. It hurts a little bit, but I'm used to hurting with the ladies. No problem. There's another one waiting. Marty Janetti gets married, and after a month, uh, they they have trouble in paradise, and all of a sudden he's he's getting a uh, he's getting divorced. Mm-hmm. Who would have thunk it? That Marty is something else. So I'm thinking now, and hey, these are the type people <laughs> that I worked around <laughs> in the wrestling business. I want to put Marty Janetti uh, with Ric Flair for one night. You never heard much of them. Let's see who lives. Oh, yeah. I would like to put them together. I'd like to. I wish I had a space machine, a time machine, and you can go back and all of a sudden here's Marty Janetti coming into a bar and here's Ric Flair coming into the bar and they meet up and they have a night out on the town. There's no telling what could have happened, but you never hear too much about their interactions, right? Well, maybe it's one of those things where the universe might implode if both of them spend too much time maybe, together. Maybe. But you remember the time, since we're talking about Marty, when he said that he killed a guy in Columbus, Georgia? I'm glad you mentioned that. Yes, I do. Here is the quote. I never told no one this, even my brother Gino, because Gino would have killed him, and I didn't want my brother gone. Hell, he'd only recently come home from Vietnam. Janetti wrote in a since-deleted post on Facebook. So, I was 13, working at Victory Lane's bowling alley, buying weed from a gay person, which I've had to edit slightly there for YouTube reasons, that worked there, and he put his hands on me. He dragged me round to the back of the building. You already know what he was going to try do. That was the very first time I made a man disappear. They disappear. Uh, they never found him. They should have looked in the Chattahoochee River. Have I said that right, Dutch? Yeah, Chattahoochee. Chattahoochee River. But Winnie, the girl in these pics, so apparently it's pictures that went with this post, I likes you so damn much, probably my favourite, but I promised myself way back then nobody would ever hurt me again. That includes you. I loved you, but you hurt me with your effing Jamaican jealousy. You can go your own way. I don't. <laughs> man, that Jamaican jealousy gets you. Uh, he, oh, did man, follow, it, he did a follow-up. He did a follow-up. It will kick yeah. your ass. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That uh, but, yeah, but it got so much uh, attention that the Columbus, Georgia Police Department investigated it, and nobody was found missing around that time. Or so he and he finally come back. Oh, I made it up. I made it up, and he probably did make it up. But again, never let facts get in the way of a good story. <laughs> Because he got a lot of attention, and and I'm thinking Marty Jannetty is is the likable version of a Ric Flair. Because Marty, it, it's easy to like him. Because and he'll slap you on the back, and he's la- he's always laughing. So I told you the time on the plane when he rooted yeah. those girls. Right? Yeah, we've we've oh, uh, I, we've covered that one very much. So yeah. So and Sean was there with him, but anyway. Uh, but, but why would he make this up? Just what's just attention it's, seeking, or yes, just... yes, Marty's that way, I guess. I don't know him that well, but but anyway, that's what he says. What are you looking at? Oh, sorry, my brother just texted me. I was trying not to be rude there. Um, so, oh, I want to tell you this very briefly, right? You know, there's just some people who just habitually lie. They, they just there was a person. Like some old loser in one of the pubs that used to hang around near where I live. And he was called Dez. And he just would just make up nonsense all the time. Do you know what his nickname was? Marty. Yeah. Bullshit Dez. 
I wonder why. <laughs> Still one of my... And there's another guy called Wanker John as well who uh, apparently used to flash people on the park. Anyway, uh, I'm going to follow up... Uh, now, that, wait a minute. Let me ask you. Yes. What connection does Wanker John have to do with wrestling? Bullshit Des and it's... Wanker John used to hang out together oh, okay. in the pub. I see. You should, write a, you, you should have wrote a song about it and put it to music. Oh, God, yeah. Oh, well, I could yeah. always do that. I mean, yeah. There's some. I'll tell you. I'll tell you some other ones afterwards that are unsuitable for this podcast. Of, uh, <laughs> of the more amusing nicknames I've heard over the years. Anyway, uh, Janetti, as you said before, a month later, Janetti walked back the claim saying, "I did not murder that man in capitals. It was just the beginning of a damn wrestling storyline." But who starts a wrestling storyline by back in the time when I killed someone when I was thirteen? Anyway, no, but yeah. oh my God, uh, didn't the world buy it? I never knew it could be that easy. Well, lying and being convincing about it, yes, it can be easy. He added, uh, I knew I had to drop it when the police got involved. So, there you go. Well, that's a good time. That's a good time to drop it. Yeah, probably as good a time as any. Okay, we're going to end on this one. But and... what, if they, what if they had actually found somebody that had been missing? Well, he must have been floating in that river for decades. Well, he's gone now, but they didn't. They they would have found a body in that river somewhere. Yeah, it would have flowed off into something. In it's a famous. That's a famous. That's a famous river in uh, in in Georgia. L- I think it separates Georgia and Alabama. Littered with corpses. Littered. I like that yeah. word. 